Hi, okay. Um, so I just wanted to quickly highlight the difference between the the new animator system and the old legacy animation system. So we uh, we are relatively familiar with this. So you need an animation controller on animatable objects in Unity. That's the new system. So I've just noticed that uh, some of the models are provided you with. Uh, this lovely whack-a-mole by Katie, I believe. Um, this has legacy animation, okay? So, and if we look over in the inspector at the components of this model, we can see that we've got it on play automatically, so we'll turn that off. But, um, so this, you you activate this in a different way in Playmaker. Okay, so I'll just show you the two ways. So if we go to the Playmaker window and we, so if I just play this now, I'll just turn that off so it shouldn't animate. Okay, good news. This keeps appearing because I have got my VR headset plugged in. So uh, also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly break the prefab instance so we're not messing with the actual original prefab. Add an FSM, okay. So this now has an FSM on it. So let's quickly have a look at, uh, I've been fiddling with this, so play animation, not animator play, but play animation, okay. So you'll notice that it says at animation as opposed to animator okay so we're going to use the owner uh, the anim name I, but you'll have to look in your uh, uh, help so it's actually called take zero zero one I believe take zero zero one so you need to make sure that the uh, it has the upper case and lower cases and the space is in the correct place okay so take zero zero one yeah okay finish event loop event we don't need those I'm just gonna run it from the start just to so you can obviously trigger this you know if you put a trigger box around this which I'll be showing you uh, either in a later video or uh, Hang on, let me just try this. I'll shut up for five minutes. Okay, so now that's working, you see. So we can turn that animation on and off. And I say animation because uh, we'll now have a quick look at... If I go back to project and I have a look at... So I've grabbed all these from the animation students. Uh, so I'll just take in the gigantic Kentucky Derby. Okay. Um, um, so, uh, I'll just scale that down. So this this animation will uh, run automatically. So we've got an animation and an animated controller here. Let me just break this prefab again. So if we look at the animated controller, we're going straight into actually. I've fiddled with this a bit. Uh, so this is not, we don't actually have an animator controller on this, so this shouldn't run. Okay, so there's no animation playing on this because we don't have an animation controller. So if I add a animation controller by pressing the correct button and not closing that, so doing the opposite of those two things. So Kentucky Derby 2. Uh, okay still actually not linked to um, so if we're looking at the animator controller here because I've been fiddling with this it's still not playing the animation okay uh, so I've just added in a new state here so I can delete this new state it'll default to take 001 which we know is the animation for Kentucky Derby let's play it bada bing there we go happy days little horses so uh, if we want to trigger this animation from Playmaker, then we will need to. So the reason I had a, a, a dead uh, transitional state in here is because I didn't want it to play automatically. Um, okay, so. So what I will do is I'll just add in a create a state again transition okay I want to get rid of that transition can I get rid of that transition I can't get rid of that transition uh, okay 
Okay, so that's the default entry step. So we've still got um, the take 001, which is our animation. It's still sitting in our animator controller. It's waiting to be activated. I just haven't connected entry to it. So if we play it now, again, we shouldn't get any animation. We don't get any animation. So the exciting bit uh, here, I say exciting, it's not really very exciting at all, is make sure it's selected. I'm going to add an FSM. So this time we want to use animator, 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 animator play. Okay, so this playmaker wise is animator play. I've added this in, we're using the owner state name so if we check back here take 001 state name take space 001 okay don't need to bother with this uh, at the moment so i'm just running it directly from this as soon as we press play um, it should automatically run this state so let's have a look There we are, happy days. Okay, so really it's just a case of recognizing the difference between animation and animator, okay, and triggering those uh, where relevant. Okay. Okay, so since I've started in this scene, I will continue and we will try to trigger this um, from via a player character. Okay, so I'll just get rid of that. Uh, so if these gigantic symbols are getting on your nerves, by the way, you can go to preferences, uh, turn that off. Draw playmaker gizmos in scene view. Okay, so it's just sometimes it's handy to know which game objects you've got playmaker components on. Um, also, if you want to get rid of your playmaker component, you can just basically remove the component there. Okay, so uh, what I want to do here is I'm going to trigger this. Uh, once you enter the area around it. So first of all, as ever, what we'll do is we'll create a giganto cube. Look at the size of that. Uh, I'll turn off the mesh render. You can also delete this if uh, that makes you feel more comfortable. Turn on is trigger, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna add an FSM. So, uh, and we'll call this waiting again. Uh, without the space, thank you. So it does something weird here. I've decided to give it a subheading, like an imbecile. We actually just want to do that. Okay, so on trigger enter is gonna be our transition. So let's make a event transition, which is on the trigger enter, okay. Uh, and then let's add that. So this is waiting for me to connect it up. So, um, and also I need to add an action, which is the our favorite, which is trigger event. Double click it. So we are using the owner. Uh, we want the trigger on trigger enter. Yes, good stuff. Send event, so on trigger enter. So what we want to then do is create a new state. Let's call this run animation uh, and so what's going to happen here is we'll run the animation on this object in theory that's what will happen so well while I'm here I'm going to put uh, actually I'll, I'll do it the other way around I'll sh I shall put animated play yes which we just talked about uh, so we need to, to specify the game object. So it was just telling me there, obviously, that uh, it didn't have an animator component because I was it was talking about using the owner, which is the trigger cube, which we don't want to do. We want to play an animation on Kentucky Darby. Okay. So the state name, I believe, take zero zero one. Okay, so on trigger end, uh, it should run that animation. Okay, we're going to need a trigger exit as well uh, to stop the animation playing. So let's just, there is also a way that you can make it loop. But I shall not get ahead of myself. Uh, obviously, I'm an idiot because I need to actually bring in some 
something to trigger it so if you want to the thing that actually sets these triggers off is a rigid body okay so as long as you've got a rigid body on it um, so if you've got a, a VR uh, the Vive VR camera if you put a rigid body on that you can teleport into these trigger boxes and it will activate your uh, step machine so what we're doing I am looking for characters yes third person yes prefabs yes third person yes and look he's gigantic so it's not good practice to scale uh, your main characters down because um, it mucks up physics but in this case I don't think I've scaled it enough to cause any massive issues so I'm not going to put a camera on I'll just keep it in this view I will delete that camera though um, I don't understand why oh, of course I'm an idiot I just deleted the camera that we need right so I'm basically just uh, looking at it in the scene view okay so you can see here that the animation started working okay so that's all good so the next thing you'd probably want to do is um, you probably want to call that trigger so you don't confuse the crap out of yourself for and I'll probably attach that as well uh, so you always want to mark your triggers as trigger or TR or uh, so that you can see them in your hierarchy window it's, it's good practice to be able to find them quickly so you might want to think about how you would stop this animation okay uh, so you might want to think about how you put on you would put a, another trigger event on it which would then leave the animation state okay so have a think about that